one of the other things yesterday, Renee, that came up in Philly's land is Jason Stark, uh, who writes for the athletic, you know, baseball hall of famer, love Jason Stark. Anytime he, he writes or talks, my ears <coughs> usually perk up a little bit. Uh, and he was on the fanatic, uh, an old, uh, employer of mine. And, uh, he was talking and he said something that I thought was pretty interesting too. And he was talking and he said, re-signing Wheeler, and this is a quote, re-signing Wheeler will be the number one priority for the Phillies once uh, the rest of the MLB offseason rubble clears, Stark said. They are more committed to re-signing Wheeler than they were Aaron Nola. I think it gets done because Wheeler loves everything about Philly. Mm -hmm. uh, very interesting that he said it was more important than Aaron Nola. And with Aaron Nola, they went, what, $172 million? Yeah. Uh, so, you know, if if that's considered exciting, it's hard not to get excited by, like, keeping your own. I know. Like, I it, know. it just feels kind of dull. But uh, keeping <laughs> Zach Wheeler clearly is and was, I think, their number one priority here. And mm -hmm. it might be the next move that they make. You know, th they're going to improve around the edges, as Dombrowski said, with probably another outfielder and another bullpen arm. Uh, but Zach Wheeler is the next most important order of business, like we kind of talked about two weeks ago. Yeah, listen, I do think right now for the Phillies specifically, since they're, you know, they're not actively shopping aggressively uh, in terms of how much they want to spend. So to be able to lock in on, on your most important pieces, that's why even that Rob Thompson uh, extension through 2025 is important. You know, you want to get those little logistics done. I do agree that Zach Wheeler, in my opinion, if I had to choose between, you know, you're having an extension with Zach Wheeler or you're re-signing Aaron Nola as a priority piece, it, it's Zach Wheeler. He's, he's our ace. He's, he's, you know, he's the guy. So I wasn't fully surprised by Jason Stark's comments, um, but it also, as you mentioned, does kind of reiterate the expectation that we should see Zach Wheeler news of an extension, uh, hopefully, at some point soon. yeah so I, I i was i read up on this in uh phillies nation and they were you know their article went on to say does he get that scherzer type of deal uh which was a three-year 130 million dollar mm. deal um you know zach wheeler is i believe 34 now so yeah you don't want to go too long into the late 30s uh with a pitcher because it's it's rare the Scherzers and Verlanders of the world can pitch into their 40s at the rate they do. Right. Um, so, yeah, you're probably looking at that short-term deal worth more. So would you give three years $130 million to Zach Wheeler? Again, this is like kind of a, a, a reflection of the Harper conversation we had yesterday where it's like these guys outperform their deals. Mm -hmm. Like the deal you signed Zach Wheeler to, he outperformed. So do you owe him more on the backside? Yeah, I mean, in in good business, yeah, you probably do. So, I mean, that's the type of deal that Zach Wheeler could be looking at here.